Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Morning Prayer for Saturday, August the 6th, 2011. Today is the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord and the scriptures for this service, Psalms 2 and 24 and Exodus chapter 24, verse 12 to 18. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Psalms 2 and 24 By this tumult among the nations, and among peoples this useless murmuring, they rise, the rulers of the earth, rulers plot against God and God's anointed. Come, let us break their fetters. Come, let us cast off their yokes. You who sit in the heavens laugh. You are laughing them to scorn. Then you will speak in anger and in rage will strike them in terror. It is I who have set up my sovereign on Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce your decree. You said to me, you are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask, and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With a rod of iron you will break them, shatter them like a potter's jar. And now, O rulers, understand. Take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Most High with awe and trembling. Pay your homage. Lest God be angry and you perish. For suddenly God's anger will blaze. Blessed are those who put their trust in God. Yours is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is you who set it on the seas, who made it firm on the waters. Who shall climb your holy mountain, and who shall stand in your holy place? Those with clean hands and pure heart, who desire not worthless things, who have not sworn so as to deceive their neighbor. They shall receive your blessings and reward from you who save them. These are the ones who seek your face, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Most High, the Mighty, the Valiant, the Most High, the Valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let the King of Glory enter. Who is the King of Glory? The Most High of Heavenly Armies. This is the King of Glory. Glory to you, Source of all being, Eternal Word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. The lesson is from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, or chapter 24, beginning at verse 12. And Yahweh said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain, and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone, with the law and the commandment which I have written, for their instruction. And so Moses set out with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up into the mountain of God. To the elders he had said, Wait here for us until we come to you again, for Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. And then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain, and the glory of Yahweh settled on Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered it for six days, and on the seventh day he called Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of Yahweh was like a devouring fire on the top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. And Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. And Moses was on the mountain for forty days and forty nights. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the Holy Church of God that it may be filled with truth and love and found without fault on the day of your coming. 
for Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, and for all the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and all may be one as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and people. For a blessing upon all human labor, and for the right uses of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty and famine and disaster, for the unemployed, especially for Robert, for the poor, the persecuted, the sick, especially Stephen Michael and Melody, for those recovering from surgery, especially Donald, for the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie, for all who suffered, for refugees and prisoners, and for all who are in danger. For this congregation, for those who are present and for those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all we do. For our enemies and for those who wish us harm and for all whom we have injured or offended. For all who died in the communion of your church and those whose faith is known to you alone. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. That God who's begun the, this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, blessed are you, O God of Israel. Alleluia. The song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. Alleluia. <laughs> We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>